Hey, movers and shakers, how you doing? It's Jay Burnham with The Real Jay Burnham Show, back again for our next exciting episode. Hey, guys, I just got to say, man, I've taken a break. I took a break for the month of September. I didn't do really. I did a couple of videos at the beginning of the month, and then I just kind of shut down. I just got really, truly uh, exhausted with doing my business, trying to set up everything on the, doing the YouTube videos, and then trying to set up the back end of that, which I'm not even completely even close to being done with. Um, but I am trying to do my best. I, I just needed a break. So forgive me. So I'm coming back, and I'm back doing these videos. I can't promise I'm going to do a video every single day. Uh, that was just getting way too much. But with the slow season coming in the moving business, it's, I could probably do, a, a, a do, do quite a bit. Um, but I just want to say, um, I don't know what you guys did, but my September was really pretty good. And I've actually got a very good October lined up uh, for this coming October. So that being said, I'm kind of wondering, how, what are you doing to book more moons? Are you increasing your Facebook ads? Are you partnering with uh, realtors? Are you hustling? Are you going to uh, knocking on doors to uh, furniture stores to see if you could be a delivery guy for them? Now, that brings up a, a great uh, uh, point here. Uh, one of the guys in my moving company's insiders group asked, uh, you know, with the moving season ending, uh, how, what can I do? And one of our guys gave him a suggestion. Hey, go talk to... Uh, uh, some uh, furniture stores and he was like oh okay i never thought of that before so he went and he did it. he actually went and started knocking on some furniture stores and he was amazed at the furniture a lot of the furniture stores do not have delivery services and they're losing out to stores that do so he was actually amazed and he's even talking about some of the big box stores they don't have delivery service. They don't have somebody that will come up and just do deliveries. So what he did is he worked out an agreement with a couple of these stores to deliver uh, furniture for people a, a certain day of the week. And he uh, did a little bit of a discount on his hourly. I don't know exactly what he did, but he did a little bit of a discount for him just because he was going to get a lot of furniture to deliver. And he... He says he estimates about 20 different deliveries in a day. So that's pretty good within within a fairly decent region, so local region. So he's going to, you know, one day uses his truck. Let's say he's going to charge $100 of delivery, which isn't, which isn't like ex extraordinary or like exorbitant or anything. That's pretty fair. Uh, so let's hypothetically, let's say he did $100, uh, $100 of delivery. And then he gets a, he delivers 20 different uh, pieces of furniture or has 20 different deliveries on his truck. That's two grand in one single day. Now let's say, now let's extrapolate that. Let's say you've got, uh, you've got two uh, furniture stores and the other furniture store, maybe they don't have 20 deliveries for you that week. Maybe they only got 10, but you're looking at another thousand. So you're looking at $3,000 in two days of work right your guys are kept busy um you know they're looking at probably eight ten hour days you know so you're looking at 20 hours just in those two days hypothetically that's pretty good and you're made three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or whatever it is maybe it's only you only do 10 deliveries for the one company a thousand dollars that's an extra thousand dollars in your bank account $2,000 in your bank account, $3,000 in your bank account right now. And if you do that every single week, let's let's just be on the conservative, maybe $1,000. Uh, that's an extra four grand that you have made for that month. Now, most months, depending on where you're at, like where I'm at, you know, $4,000 in one of the slow months is a considerable amount of money. So, um, you know, maybe you're in a bigger city, so you're not going to have that kind of a slow month. Bless your heart. But in my area, $4,000 in January and February is actually pretty doggone good. So um, that, that being said, you know, that is something you guys should look at. You should be starting to look at how to book more moves. Where can you spend the money to book more moves? Where could you 
you know, experiment with to make more moves. Now, I'm experimenting with this uh, device, which you get. It's a small little device. I don't know if it's a keychain or anything or not, uh, but it's just a small little device that you carry with you. And when you carry it with you, it's supposedly within a 100-yard radius of where you're at. Every single cell phone will get a text message from you uh, promoting your business. So that is something that I'm going to be looking in to see how the success ratio on it. And the guy who uh, turned me on to it, Jake, if you're listening to this video, brother, I promise you, if it does not work, if it is not profitable for me, if I don't get a return on investment that I'm expecting on this, I am going to publicly humiliate you and embarrassing you on Facebook. And by the way, he said that was a deal when we started because I did tell him that I was going to do that. So um, I'm going to be testing that out. But now's the time to start getting out the advertising, getting out the word. Um, you know, a couple uh, great places that you might not have thought about. Uh, advertising, do a little uh, YouTube commercial uh, and put it on uh, and have it uh, ran in front of uh, uh, the movie theaters. Like some of the local uh, mom and pop movie theaters around, you could get uh, before the movie, you can probably pay them 50 bucks, 20 bucks a month, and you could have like a like the Sun Theater in Grand Ledge, where I live, they have uh, the the owner Chuck. He allows you to put up a, a banner on on the before the movie, which he just has rotate through a slideshow, and you can put up a banner, and it's like ten bucks a month for that. And the theater, depending on the movie, gets a lot of eyeballs. So that is something you can look at. And a lot of the big movie theaters, they run like commercials um, before the movie starts. You know, before they do the all the previews and all that good stuff. So you could have that as people are coming in, they could be playing uh, uh, different uh, commercials. And I've seen commercials from my local area for dentists, urgent cares, hair salons, dentists, all sorts of um, even uh, automotive stores and everything like that. So those are some great ideas where you could be looking into and testing out. Now, I say testing and experiment. You got to, you know, when you put the money in, you've got to actually test it out. Like, know the date you started, know the date it's going to finish. Is there an influx of uh, uh, customers or is there a decrease of customers? When you when you call, when somebody calls on the phone or whatever, they should there should be a way to, for how did you hear about us? Oh, I saw you at the movie theater. Click. Great. You take it down. Now, not everybody's going to remember where they see, especially if you got multiple areas. But it is helpful to kind of keep track of where your your advertising dollars are doing well. All right. So these are just some of the things that you should be starting to put in place. Now, um, you know, there's also now's the time to start making sure your equipment's in good order, making sure it's fixed, getting new uh, blankets, getting new tools, getting new dollies, fixing dollies. Um, Fixing up your your trucks if you have trucks or trailers or whatever it is. Now's the time to get everything start run so that when you take these this, these next few months and you get ready and, a, and 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 so on, then when the moving season hits, you're ready to go. Okay, and you're not doing it at the last moment. I know some people are gonna go ah, oh, but anyway, that's cool. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys for. Uh, being there for me, even though I took a, a basically I took a month off. Um, the statistics on my YouTube channel still went up. We still added like almost 200 different subs <clears throat> to the channel, even though I was gone. Actually, it was like almost 150 to be to be more accurate. But I hadn't done a video, hadn't done anything, and I still got about almost 150 subs to the channel. Uh, people are watching more videos. Um, and it's and it's really great. So I'm really proud of the fact that you guys are leaving, still leaving comments. You guys are asking to be part of my Movers and Siders Club, um, and so on and so forth. And just so you guys know, I am working on things. I am a little bit behind on uh, a lot of things I'm trying to get done. Uh, some of the things that you guys are asking for, like the terms and conditions statement and all that, I am working on it, guys. I am. And just I, you, you know, I'm running my own. I'm running a moving business just like you. So um, you gotta forgive me. This is not my 
doing these videos and doing all that kind of stuff isn't uh, my first business, if you will. I'm doing a lot of this I was doing out of just just love. Now I can see that people really need and want this. So now I'm trying to see because I can't just continue doing it for free because I just got so exhausted, as you see. So we're going to start me doing some things. I'm going to start offering them. I'm going to do some live uh, workshops over the Internet and uh, things like that. But I got to get that going. It's not going to happen right away. So <clears throat> please forgive me. I will get to it. And I will get you the stuff that you guys, and those guys who've already previously asked, I will make sure that you guys get copies of that. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, any, anyway, guys, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you for coming to this channel. I am back prepared. Um, may, I'm going to try to put videos on a schedule, maybe two or three videos a week. Um, but right now, it's just going to be a kind of a hit and miss. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to it. But when you do, go down and hit that little bell icon at the subscri subscribe button. And that way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. And you don't have to worry about it. Okay, guys? If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this with all your family and friends. And, of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Really appreciate you. Goodbye.